Yeah, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hanam Pawana Sapaknang. Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths, and then stay with the breath. You don't have to go anywhere else. When we meditate, we're trying to develop good qualities in mind. That's what the word meditation, bhavana in Pali, means, is to develop. Because the mind needs to develop its mindfulness, it needs to develop alertness, so that it knows what it's doing, and it can remember what it should be doing. It's so easy to forget. You make a mistake, and you try to learn from the mistake, and then you forget. And then you have to learn it all over again, and again and again. If you don't remember things, life is going to be a mess. So you have to learn how to develop your power to remember things that you need to remember and to apply them to what you're doing right now. That's what the alertness is, to see what the situation is right now, and so you can figure out what's the appropriate thing to do. So as we meditate and stay with the breath, we're developing those two qualities. You remember to keep the breath in mind, and every time you catch yourself forgetting, you remember it again and again and again until it becomes really solid. And as for your alertness, you have to be really quick, because the mind can slip off very easily. And so you want to catch it as quickly as you can and bring it right back. And then when you're with the breath, you try to be sensitive to how the breathing feels. So these are the qualities we're working on right here, right now. And these are the ones we want to develop. As for thinking about the past or future, you can put that aside. You don't have to make any plans about the future. Just be here in the present moment. Not because it's a wonderful moment, because it's an important moment. This is where all the choices in your life are being made. And this is where you can choose to strengthen the mind to its qualities. So it doesn't matter whether, you, matter whether you're smart or dumb or whatever. What's important is that you really stick with it. And you find the mind does get a lot clearer, and then it's a lot easier to figure out what needs to be done in any situation. And you've got the energy to do it because the mind has been rested. So lots of good qualities get developed in this simple exercise of staying with the breath. It's like exercising the body. You just lift a few weights and it strengthens your muscles. The weights themselves don't have anything to do with it, but it's the persistence with which you stick at it and your discernment in how you do it. You don't want to overdo it. You harm yourself. But just a simple exercise like that can make you stronger. It's the same with the mind. A simple exercise like staying with the breath can make the mind a lot stronger. And the mind needs strength because you deal with life. There's a lot of things that require a lot of strength in dealing with difficult people, difficult situations, and dealing with the difficulties your mind creates for itself. You need how to learn how to strengthen the good qualities of the mind so they're going to overcome the unskillful ones. So that's what you work on here. We're strengthening the mind, developing the mind through this very simple exercise. So it requires some patience and stick, stick to activeness. But if you really stick with it, you find that you can let go of a lot of other things that you tend to worry about. The mind feels a lot lighter and a lot stronger as a result. So don't think of it as just one more chore to do. This is the, chore, this is the exercise that makes your other chores a lot easier. So make this your number one priority. Because after all, what have you got? You've got a body and a mind. The body's going to leave you at some point. It's what you're going to have left is the mind. So you want to make sure the mind is in good shape, because that's what can see you through difficult things that the body's going to throw at you, like aging, illness, and death. The body may age, but the mind doesn't have to age. You grow ill, but the mind doesn't have to be pained. Even when the body dies, the mind doesn't have to be upset at death. If it's been exercised, if it's been developed, so that's why it should take top priority in whatever you do every day. <laughs> 